Hey there crafty peeps, it's Rhonda from Rhonda World 365 I'm back with another video to show you. Now I had said in my previous video I've entered into four swaps to get back into the swing of things and that's what I've done uh, here. This one is um, from the Junk Journal Junkies, uh, the actual group, and it is a journal swap. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it because I've got a lot to show you. Now this is a full size journal hardcover. Um, it's a five by eight. Um, and I think mine is actually kind of closer to eight and a quarter, not quite there. Um, and then the spine is two inches. So what I did was I used this white um, and red paper that I had and I really, I, it is a hardcover book that I gutted, but I was loving this paper and I really wanted to use it. And so what I did, it just reminded me of circus tent a little bit. Um, I put that down and, um, then I, um, inked it of course, and I went around and there's this like metallic stuff. If you can see it when the light hits just right, um, that, and I went around all of it, including the picture. Um, and that is actually, um, a gold, uh, wax or not gold. I'm sorry. It's copper wax. And, um, it's just a metallic wax that you can use for your, your journaling and things like that. Uh, leather sequins on the edge. And if you'll notice, of course, I did reverse or, uh, you know, uh, switch the pattern 90 degrees so that I had stripes this way on the spine. I just thought that kind of looked cool. I did love this paper so much that I, I left the back blank. And, um, and I, I just, uh, added this little bitty and I wanted that to look like Brad's or like, um, like there was some sort of metal balls in there. So that's a uh, brass color and it's all mod podged so that it's sealed. Um, and it says, and I did it with a matte mod podge. Um, uh, it says the, the following is based on actual events and because the circus is real. So of course, and this one, as you can see, was a Paris uh, lion, uh, Paris lion, lion, um, so lion Paris rather, um, and it it did happen in 2016. So um, it's kind of real uh, items and um, and and just pieces. And I got them from printable kits and um, and uh, free printables off of uh, Pinterest. So um, the clasp is a alligator clasp and I put I was having a little trouble with it because it kept uh, hitting the edge here of the book and it was biting into it so I used a die cut and cut this sticky back twill um, and I went ahead and uh, glued that down as you can see and uh, that actually saved the book a little bit too and I went ahead and and distressed it and it's got like some of that metallic on it as well uh, the band is a stretch band and as you can see it's kind of, it's purple but it's got this gold flakes throughout and it kind of reminded me of maybe a circus performer's outfit. Uh, so it will stretch with the book if the book grows and uh, on the inside cover I did leave these plain, the paper behind it is plain, it can be journaled on of course, and then I created this pocket with this black lace too but um, with this uh, red uh, paper and I got it from um, Dark Romance. It was a DWSV uh, paper pad and I did get a lot of a, a lot of different ones from that. Um, I'm actually gonna have to find that and reorder it because I loved that paper pad. Okay so inside the front cover I've tucked this book belongs to whoops sorry and then you can flip it over for journaling on both sides. I've got a little uh card here that just lets him know, you know, this is kind of our trading card. It lets you know, um, I've got a note here to my, behind it, to my, uh, my partner, uh, swap partner, and I've got Charlie Dale. And, uh, as soon as I get, um, I won't get his because we're doing round robin. There was only three of us. So I will get Marie Gutierrez. I might be saying her name wrong. Um, but anyway, mine is going to be international, but I shipped to Charlie. So this is for him. And it says Rhonda Kasky under the big top, Rhonda World 365 and my signature. And I've added a little extra bling because of course, 
what is the greatest show without a little bling? All the pages are, the sides are, are distressed. Um, anything else in here has been tea dyed except for like the pattern paper and, um, or it's been just ink distressed. I also went over it. If you can see there's metallic all on the edging of the paper to give it that gold look. Um, well, it's actually copper, but, um, it's that paste, that wax, sorry, um, metallic wax. So here I've done, this is an altered paper clip and it's like a tag with a little, um, with a little clown. And then I've got these, um, ribbons here. And this piece here is for journaling. It's just a folded out punched piece. And then we've got the tag here, which is, of course, that dark romance uh, paper pad inked and distressed on the back. Everything's distressed and ready to go for journaling. Um, and then also, if you'll notice down here, I did put in, it's just a little picture. I printed everything. It's going to give you a little bit of a glare at some times. Um, everything is printed on that um on shimmer paper. I just thought that, that this was kind of a magical event. Everything needs to be a little bit more um, shimmery. So in there's a lion cage. Now this next page has another tag. It's a fold out tag. And I did leave a lot of my pages blank. You're going to notice in here that there's not as, um, that, that I didn't add a bunch of page um, Oh, what do you call them? Like embellishments, maybe some stamps, but not tons of embellishments because I did hear a lady say, Oh, you know, I love your journals, but, um, sometimes you don't add a lot of room for journaling. And I, I do try to, cause I try to add a lot of extra tags and stuff for your tuck spots. So you can journal on that. However, um, and, um, I, I figured I'd add a little extra paper this time. And also, um, one time somebody asked me, well, how do you journal? You know, you've got all this. How do you journal on that? And, um, I was going to tell you, you know, these plastic or acrylic, um, panes, you can take them and insert them behind. And then you have a flat, you know, flat space for drilling or drilling <laughs> for journaling. I'm losing my mind. Think of what I'm on to today. So this says, not my circus, not my monkeys. And that's probably the only circus uh, stamp that I have. So the rest of them are Alice in Wonderland because that's got a zany theme to it too. And this one says, begin at the beginning and go until you come to the end, then stop. Which I thought was very appropriate for the beginning. On this page, we've got a little stamp here. Live on. And that's a popcorn, uh, a little popcorn cutout. And a tuck spot with a ticket to the circus. And that just slides right into the tuck spot there. Cherish what makes you unique. And it's all lined paper. So I was like keeping, I was trying to keep that lined paper in a directional pad that you could actually, you know, journal on. A little uh, journaling card right there. And then this pocket, uh, which creates that tuck spot there, but also a pocket has a, uh, a, a makeshift notepad tucked down in. Up at the top here, we've got a stamp and a flourish stamp at the bottom. The stamp says, why sometimes I believe as many as six impossible things before breakfast. Oops. This one just has some, some uh, bling to it. And then this is a altered tag or a embellished tag. Uh, be where you want to be and it's got these circus performers and I put them on this bike die cut out and they're all kind of balancing on each other which is kind of cute and then behind it mementos memories mementos memories so tuck that right up in there like so okay inside here I've got a little top tuck with the showing the circus it's an ad and then this tag here tucks right in there. On this side, I've got a postcard stamp. Now you're going to notice a few of these throughout here because I wanted to add some of those just for fun. On the back of that, there's a little uh, corner tuck spot here. And it says amazing time and there's um, a performer down in here um, hanging from a ball. 
I added these three little, there's a mason jar, a little, uh, a little tag and another little tag. And then um, you'll notice that many of my tags correspond with the book. Most of my tags correspond with the book because I do use excess papers to create my tags. So that's where they're coming from. All right, let me put that there. And this page is ledger paper. Be yourself all day, every day. And then it's uh, cut with some uh, scissors, with those, uh, you know, trim scissors, and inked, distressed. And this this little ticket here says live with intention. Over here we've got the Ringling Brothers tuck spot. So I've added a little, um, it's a uh, receipt paper, and then a dual open tag but the lines also create journaling space as well inside here another lined paper uh, if I were queen everything would be different and then over here stamped page for journaling we've got the little tickets here that form a nice tiny little tuck and this one says have it all and on here you'll see uh, there's two clowns riding a bicycle and then there's a beam in between them and a guy balancing on them and the tag will open uh sorry tag opens like that for journaling tucks right in there this one says adventure is everywhere and then uh, we've got i've created a few of these little tiny books they're stapled with the little tiny staples. Um, so they're little circus books and I've, I've tucked them in here and there. This tag here has a, uh, a guy jumping through fire on a, um, to jump, to land on the horse. And it's a, just a tag. And back there behind it says dream on a uh, lined paper as well. I'll go ahead and tuck that back in there. This side has, um, it's, this is the altered paper clip, as you can see, that's the paper clip. This is the altered portion of the paper clip, um, the human book head, and then it says good times, and this is just a folded paper for journaling, but it's kind of folded like an envelope, real cute. Uh, up top, this is just decorative. You could tuck something up behind it if you chose, but it's mostly decorative. Another page for journaling, and then we've got a little journaling card on a tuck spot that says, I'm on, and there's a little hand there. This says Chubby Cheeks, and this is actually a, a um, circus-themed paper there. Now, this page has gotten a lot of, of likes and a lot of, I'm going to see if I can bring this down just a smidge. Let's see if we can kind of focus it in a little bit more. So um, it is a die cut that I have. It's a Ferris wheel die cut. And I put happiness is here um, on that. And I did distress that with a, with a metallic uh, wax. And I've added a, um, a tag right there, distress. And then I've added these tickets I made. Um, I made a three pack of tickets and these tickets are actually quite light so they're kind of coming apart but that's kind of how real tickets do so I didn't want to mess with them too much I was thinking about adding uh, washi tape to them to kind of hold them together but I think that looks better um, this is a very long skinny side tuck that I've actually added onto a journaling page um, so I was thinking well I'm not gonna put something heavy-duty in there so I did just add this uh, tea dye distressed paper and I just added it like that you know it lays there and then there is this stamp on this page everything's got a moral if only you can find it and then if you flip the page it says big things often have small beginnings and um, we're already actually into the second signature this was the start of the second let me see here this is the start of the second signature. Sorry about that. Um, 
we've got we got the zany page here and then a postcard again it says exciting and it's got washi tape here with the hands um this side here is a ferris wheel picture and um it's from a circus or or some carnival type thing under the big top and i put the greatest show oh sorry this says the greatest show and it's um one of those uh label makers and then you op um both sides are actually decorated this says keep on laughing and it's got the little clown in the carriage with the with the other uh the horses carrying him and then inside you've got a little tuck spot memories of a and um this is barman bailey and this is a little piece of paper punched a little tag and this all just gets tucked right into here into this file folder that i've created here and then this side has a tiny little uh notepad created notepad which i thought was kind of fun and so and i liked the little metallic edge so i tucked the other side down and that says memories of a lifetime so it's a it's a um what do you call it it's a, a, a file folder and then on this side we've got a double tuck so we've got a tuck spot there with this cute little journaling card and then behind it i've added this paper for journaling so we've got two tuck spots there now over here it says color outside the outside the lines once in a while and then adventure awaits us another page for journaling now this is the uh tight wa tight rope walker with her umbrella here's the little acrobatic men making into a tuck spot here and i've added a tag that opens um, another page for journaling and then this pocket here was created with the lace and the little um and the little sequence here or um jewels here some funny lace at the top which i thought made kind of sense for this book and a little uh notepad so i'm gonna go ahead and stick that notepad back over there gift of adventure and there's these performers here that are all on this embellished uh tag and um behind that it's actually a little mini pocket it's a story time it's a little tag that you can journal on inside the pocket and behind the the tuck that this tag creates is a little uh, journaling piece of note paper here i've got another um paper clip i've actually had this paper clip come up from the bottom so i thought that was kind of neat um but it is a embellished paper clip as you can see it says so epic and it's got this strong man here and i put it on this paper that's um more of that dark romance paper the tag is of course a journaling tag and then we've got this little big circus ticket uh 25 dollars so tuck those right back in there now this side has an actual tag of a uh it's a it's an embellished tag but you could journal on the back of it so this one says this is awesome and it's the girl and she's swinging from the trapeze and i've got the trapeze kind of going up into the lace and i've got jewels on it and uh behind her is um a distressed and uh i put that me metallic wax on it and it's a uh piece of a doily so i just thought that looked kind of cute we've got some beading here off with her head because she's a her and then this one flips up like so for journaling or down it says let's go to the and then i have circus here another one of those little mini books um that i created and the tag here so it's an open tag and they just tuck right in like so this is a pocket 
I created out of a book page. It's a pocket and then a double pocket behind it. So uh, we've got this uh, little thin, um, excuse me, tag, and then we've got one more behind it, which folds down. And they're tucked, both of them, oops, both of them right in here, like so, uh, with that lace trim. I really liked that lace, and I used it on a lot of pages in this book. Postcard, again, and this one says, act as if what you do makes a difference. It does. Now, I did add some fringe on this page here. So he's got a little fringe, um, and I thought that was kind of appropriate. And then we've got beading there. This one says Shrine Circus, and it's got a ticket, and it's a tuck spot. And I've got this like little bicycle page here. Whoops. Little bicycle page, and it says $5 down. Um, I know it's vintage style, but that bicycle seemed appropriate for the circus. Another tag. Now this one has these scallop, um, there, it's a gold scallop trim and I liked it because I was tucking these little, uh, mason jars up in here and I thought they just looked so cute all tucked up in there. So there's little mason jars and then it says life's too short to wait. Now this is the center of the signature. As you can see, I've got this black and white. I did use black and white, uh, for the for the uh, string because I thought that kind of seemed a little bit more circusy. Another embellished tag um, that I've turned into a tuck spot, and it says "Just Go Big," and this one says "Big Apple Circus," and it's the girl and the guy that she's balancing like that, and he's balancing off of her um, on this uh, on this chair, and then I've tucked another one of these folded pieces of paper into that, like so. Behind this is more journaling space. This one says the adventures first, ex the adventures first explanations take such a dreadful time. And this page here again has a little bit more of that trim just to kind of finish off that piece. And then here we've got a page a uh, little piece that flips up. It says a perfect moment. And then down here, there's a little key stamped laugh more. And then this page here has um, the clown, the three clowns as a tuck spot. You've got your tag and your journaling card. I liked that paper for journaling. This right here says uh, it's always, it seems impossible until it's done. Uh, lace punch and then we've got some lace here and I've added some more of those jewels um, to the top here if you can see that I don't know if you can there we go and um, they coincide with that one tag but they're the smaller ones and then we've got this tag here that slips right in and one second let me take a look I'm going to pause you for just a second It's not letting me. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm back. Uh, my computer was about to die, so I had to pause you for like two seconds. Um, again, that was a little pocket tuck. On this side, again, is that paper. Um, and here we've got a little card. Circus, the circus procession. It's the little elephants and whatnot. And it's on that dream paper again. So I did overlap certain uh, pattern paper because it seemed to be fitting the theme better than some of the other papers that I had. Now um, we have another picture. It says step right up, the knife throwing. And it's um, this is an embellished paper clip, as you can see the paper clip there. And that comes right out. So that's what the embellished paper clip looks like. And we've got a tag. And uh, now this is a popcorn bag, which I thought was very cute. And it's one of the circus themed popcorn bags. I actually got that at Hobby Lobby for the circus. Uh, well, for a party, like if you were having a birthday party, a circus birthday party, that's kind of what it went with. 
uh, collect moments, not things. And we've got a talk spot up here again, made with uh, one of those circus uh, uh, posters. And this is like 50th anniversary. And we've got, whoops, I don't know how that got in there. We got a tag. It tucks right back in. Now this is a, um, it's the book page is folded over to create a tag spot that says dance. And we've got a key stamped up in the corner up here and a little crown at the bottom. Paper. This here is a, another journaling page. And then behind it is a mini tuck spot that has a uh, mason jar journaling tag or journaling whatever piece. And then a, a tag here. And that just slides right into this mini uh, tuck spot here. We've got Curiouser and Curiouser. And this is kind of lined paper with those polka dots. Uh, just kind of looked like a clown paper to me. I thought that was kind of appropriate. A journaling page. Postcard with the lace and the trim. It is the center of the signature. Another one of those um, pages. And then I've added this lace and the two jewels. And this one again has the trim. Oops, this is coming out of that. I don't know why. Anyway, tickets again. It's a three set of tickets. Uh, to journal on and a little piece of paper and that tucks right into there which is another folded over piece from the back side of the page again that girl that's on the tightrope um, and it says enjoy the journey here's the back of the popcorn bag now I slice that to make a pocket tuck for another notepad there and that just let me see here if I can get that to slide down properly. Slides right down in there. All right, and then this side is a, um, this is actually a tuck spot. Uh, so this tag is in the tuck spot. However, there's a little hidden tuck there, a little hidden pocket there for the mini tag. On this page, I've got another embellished uh, um tag or dirt yeah embellished tag it says write your own story and there's this girl that she's actually in um, one of those sphere circles um, and she's kind of twirling in the air so I cut her out and I thought she looked kind of cool I put these cloths with her and then behind that is a uh, piece of paper that's been folded kind of like an envelope and stuck in there for journaling and this one here says, to live will be an awfully big adventure. I've glued this little clown here. And then we've got an altered paper clip. And behind that is a journaling card, but it's it's duo-sided, kind of like the tags. Uh, so it's got that going. Now we flip the page, and we've got a journaling tag there on the back side. We've got a popcorn bag again with this kind of notepad in it. I did this is that um, more of that paper from that dark romance one. I just like the purple. It just kind of stood out and with the stars kind of seemed right. Now this little guy here, he is one of those um, what do you call them? They're the Tim Holtz uh, birds, the crazy birds. And I added a little bow tie and a little funny hat to him. It says be where you want to be and it's on this um it could be a tuck spot if you wanted i just thought it was kind of cool looking and it's on this um what do you call it um burlap and then we've got another um pocket that has been turned into a tuck spot um and it's a tag behind that and then a tag in the pocket and there's this little ticket here that says Escape Fun House One One Ride. And this is another ticket in the clown. And the tag, of course, opens up for journaling. Tucks right back in there. This is just a cute little embellishment. It says go on an adventure. And then another tuck spot made with a bread tag ticket. 
um, and circus, the best circus show, and it gives times and dates, and uh, it's on this red line paper here, and I did add that because it kind of reminded me of a circus front. Ledger paper here, punched and uh, distressed for journaling. And then, again, I added that because it just really looked good together. Um, and also, inside it, you'll notice that the, the inside of that one, which I didn't show you the right way because, I, of course, it's, it's this page, then this page, and I kind of linked them together. This is folded in with the Martha Stewart punch. Got a ticket and a receipt tag, or a receipt paper for journaling. And then inside this section is a journaling card um, that opens, sorry. It opens up for more journaling, tucked on that side. Then there's this side. Um, now here it says live out loud. And then listen to truth. These are journaling pages. This is Hyde Park Corner, Piccadilly Circus, uh, Brompton Road. And we've got three little uh, mini tags there. Another one of those uh, Ferris wheels, Go Find Yourself. And there's three little mason jar tags put in there. And along with, oops, I can put that down further. Okay, along with a little tag behind it. There's the other side of that popcorn bag, and I've added one more of these little uh, filing folders. And of course, there is the put uh, bleh, cut out, punched out um, tea dyed journaling paper there. This life is mine. Little tag there. This one says under the big top. So they're two different little ones. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you guys again. Um, and again, another one of these little tiny uh, journaling notepads with inside the pocket. The back is decorated once upon a time. And this one says Coney Island Circus Sideshow. That was actually on the front of our, uh, or it was the it was the picture at the top of our swap. Uh, so it's really cute. And then here we've got um, this ticket here. I did um, a lot of kind of um, mixed media here with the uh, embellishments. And there's 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 the uh, buttons and everything. It says journey. Big things often have small beginnings. Every day is a second chance. And I've got the lady that's riding the two elephants. Tucked behind that is a white receipt tag or sales tag, if you will. And that is the last page, but the very last page says, um, this story has a happy ending. And it's, you know, lined paper. Then there's a pocket here. Whoops, there's a fuzzy on it. A pocket here, which I have included this tag. It's a ticket. Um, and then I put this um, circus picture here. And then the very back of it says, do more of what makes you happy. So this is the last page of the of you know the back cover. And that is the journal. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, Charlie will be getting that this week, probably tomorrow. Uh, well, I'll be mailing it out tomorrow. I'll probably get it later this week. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think about it. But until next time, keep on crafting.